At the start of this year's race, Jason Mackey was on a mission. I have to just stay focused on the dogs, what's in front of me. I can't dwell on the past. Moving from checkpoint to checkpoint. So far, so good. I'm happy with the dogs. His drive only increasing since his return to the race last year. Last year was difficult. Very difficult. Following the death of his brother, four-time Iditarod champion Lance Mackey, who cemented his legacy as one of the greats. This is a great moment for Lance Mackey. Four straight wins starting in 2007 before passing in 2022. I actually have um, ashes from Lance's old, one of Lance's old dogs, Amp, um, that just, he just died, like, last week, I think. So my sister had him cremated and asked if I'd carry him, so I've got him right in his pouch. He's hanging out. It's easy to see the similarities, and fans notice, too. Thank you. Enjoy the race. I mean, the fans and the friends and family and everybody involved, volunteers, without them, we wouldn't be here, so it's all about that. Upon arriving to the coast, last year's Red Lantern winner. Tip number? 19. 19. Number of dogs? 13. Looking again to his late brother for inspiration. I've been running dogs my entire life. Been racing dogs my entire life. But I am not too proud to say that I'm learning. You know, I got some good pointers from my brother over the years. And of course, he didn't share all his secrets. But he did have a final message for Jason. Well, that was his last words to me. His very last words to me. So he told me he loved me. He says, it's your turn. It's, it's my turn. And yeah, so here I am. The sun setting on one Mackie career, with another Mackie on the rise in the standing.